is in watercolor Florida this week for spring break and we have probably the most beautiful beach house that I have ever seen that we get to stay in this week. Should we give them a tour of our beach house? Yeah. is in watercolor Florida this week for spring break and we have probably the most beautiful beach house that I have ever seen that we get to stay in this week. So kiddo, yeah. should we give them a tour of our beach house? Yeah. Come on, now there's a story behind why we are in a giant giant house and why it's only us for now and we're going to tell you that after I show you the house. So we'll start here. What do we have over here guys? Bikes. Bikes. There are six bikes for us to share. We haven't tried them out yet. I think they're a little bit too big for you, Colin. But I know. But you gotta ride the golf cart. You gotta drive it, how about that? Let's go show inside now. We're heading inside and we're gonna show you the first floor first because again, like we said, there are three floors. So we come in here and let's show them the main living area, girls. They wanna swim around? We have a seating area over here. Oh yes. And we also have another one on the other side of the fireplace. You're right, there's a seating area over here, a beautiful fireplace. And here's all the chairs. Oh, the movie room, I know. Colin is really eager to go upstairs and show us the movie room, but Colin, we're gonna get there in just a second. We're gonna show you down here first. So here's the living room. A dining room table over here. Okay, dining room is over here, you're right. Yeah, that's the wet bar. And then back here we have our kitchen. And what was your very first breakfast in this beautiful kitchen? And um, waffles. Eggo waffles? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. It's beautiful. So this is the bulk of the first floor. Maybe we have a pantry over here, don't we? Yeah, right in here. We'll show you what we have stocked in our pantry. We have... Tostitos. And Tostitos. Tostitos. Yes, I'm right, out of the pantry because the pantry isn't super excited. If we come this way, here is where you can come in from the garage. And they have like a cute little mudroom over here that we'll show you too. Yeah, laundry room's in there. They have another one up there. Yeah, here's our laun one laundry room. Because what do we have, girls? Three laundry rooms. Three? Two. Two laundry rooms. Two. You held out number three at first. Two. And then over here is the mudroom. Here's some towels. Yes. Yes, we have lots of towels, which we're gonna be taking to the beach pretty soon. Yeah. And then in the garage, we have a six-seater golf cart, and we rented a nine-seater golf cart, because again, we were expecting a ton, a ton of people to be here, which we'll tell you about in just a little bit. And we walk on this way, and there's actually an office over here we're gonna show you. All over this way, back to the front door. Right, we've got a little bathroom that's over here. Office. And then a small office. Oh, Daddy's working. Hello. And there's still more on the first floor. There's one of the bedrooms. There are six bedrooms in this house, plus a little nook of a bedroom. And they all have their own bathroom. So here's the first bedroom we'll show you. Every room has a TV. And then big bathroom in here. Do you want to show us the balcony? Or the porch? Okay, they have, well there's a balcony over here, but I think it leads to the pool. Oh, it does. So let's go out the other door because I don't think we can open this door. Here's an alarm, so you have to All right. Yes, let's explain the alarm. Hang on, girls. So all the doors that lead to the pool have this obnoxiously loud pool alarm, which I am actually so thankful for. So anytime the door is open without pressing that button first, there's a giant beeping sound. You wanna show it to them, girls? It's not push the button, and then the button stops. <laughs> so you should push it before you go out. So if we press the button before we go out, there's not a giant, obnoxious beeping sound, but I like having it because that way if Colin were to go out the door and I didn't know about it, everyone would know that the door was open. So, let's press the button and go outside. Hurry, 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 for 10 seconds. Okay, so as you can see, it's a teeny tiny pool, but it's super fun and it's heated and we have this beautiful porch area around it. I think the girls are really digging the porch swing over here. You wanna show them the screen in porch? All right, you lead the way, Colin. Here we go. Last night we grilled hot dogs and hamburgers and ate out here. It was very lovely for our very first night here. I think we're pretty much done with showing you the first floor, so now we'll head up to the second floor and show you what's up there. So like I said, this house is in watercolor Florida, 
and it's in an area called 30A, which is the highway that runs along the Gulf Coast here. And it's a place where a lot of people from Tennessee vacation because we can drive there. It's about a seven hour, six, or I'd say six and a half hour drive, but it's not too bad. What's up here? Let's go here first. We have a beautiful balcony. This house has so many balconies and porches, I think maybe we should count them. So, so far there was one downstairs outside of the first bedroom. This is our second one we've come to. This is a very nice area to read. It is, isn't maybe it? some mornings I could come out and read. Yes, Mommy's definitely on board with reading on vacation. So whenever, if your room's right here, you can just come up the stairs, walk right in, and this is the room. Right, you wanna show the room? Locked door. Yeah, that's a locked door, okay? So maybe it's for people that own it. So yes, here's a room. And has a TV. I like every room. A nice closet. I like every room. Nice and then its own bathroom. I like every room. Like there I am. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. So this is the second bedroom. Remember, there are six bedrooms plus a little teeny tiny sort of bedroom. On every level, there's like your own little living room. So you can chill here if you don't want to go downstairs and hang with everybody else. You can watch TV. And then we have, oh, here's another balcony. So this is balcony number three. Now we'll show you bedroom number three, right this way. Oh, here's balcony number four. four. <laughs> and I love the view from the back of the house because you can take a little, I don't know if it's a bay or what the technical term is. There's a dock and you see like the water through the trees and it looks gorgeous. Oh girls, I just realized it looks like we have a little tiny bit of an actual backyard down there. Yeah, we know. You know that? I didn't know that. So again, this is bedroom number, what are we on? Three. What is it? Oh, that's a big seashell. It has things in it. I what is what in there? Oh goodness. I don't know what that is. Watercolor, they must be wristbands. The cool thing about renting a house in watercolor is that you have access to, which I'm guessing those wristbands are, a beach club where you'd go and they already have chairs for you and towels for you, and it's close to people who are staying in the other cities. And there's also like a whole, I can't remember what they call it, but this giant pool area with lazy rivers and pools and food and beverage service. <gasps> I know. Plus there is a cool park for watercolor residents, so yeah! we have, yeah! for the park? Uh, so we haven't explored any of it because we just got here yesterday, but we're excited to go see it all. Bathroom, standard bathroom. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm looking at walk back. This way, Colin. Yeah. Now we're gonna show you on the second level where Jason and I are staying and where the kiddos are staying. So we're gonna walk down this hallway over here. So this, do you girls know what this is over here? An elevator. It yeah. is an elevator. It's broken. So I think they closed it off for the guests. So we can't use it, but there is an elevator here, which would be really cool to have an elevator in your house. I know, especially with our heavy suitcases. We have to carry them all the way up to this floor. Okay, what's over here first? That little kitchen, me and Addie's kitchen. Yes, you have a microwave, a refrigerator, a sink. Very nice. And then for our room, three, two, one, go. Yes, we have a seating area over here. And yes, you brought your Squishmallows with you. Do your Squishmallows have names? Yes, this is Miles. Miles, and what, what is Miles exactly? What type of animal? A dragon, who's yours? Sophia, we didn't name him, it was on the cast. And Sophia's a unicorn, it looks like. Uh -huh. Yes. You guys have a little balcony too. Yeah. I can't even remember what number we're on. It's balcony number four now, I'm not sure. Oh, are there high chairs here? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is probably not very safe for Colin. You don't want high chairs. Mm -mm. Me and Addy could be down here. You but could. Should we go back in? Show our room now? I prefer to Ooh. feed on the other balconies. Come on, no, Colin. Let's go. We have a bathroom. Oh, yes, right. You have a bathroom too. I forgot to show your bathroom. That's the toilet area where the toilet is. Okay. We'll relax in your You can relax in your bathroom. Should we go show the mommy and daddy room? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This way, Colin. Lead the way. I'm going to follow you. Here's the original hall we came down. Here's the hall that the girls. And if we turn this way, we have this pretty mirror and little console table. And then we have our second laundry room over here, which is super nice to have a laundry room on the first floor and a laundry room on the second floor. Okay, here's my room. 
Yes, another reading area. And then we have a giant bathroom and a giant closet. I've gotta show you this closet in here. And this closet over here is so long. You walk down and you walk down. Daddy got this cat's on going. <laughs> Did she? It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Hi! It's pretty amazing. Yes, yeah, pretty amazing. <gasps> now there's actually another balcony off of our room. So what balcony number are we on now? I can't even keep six. track. Six. So we're gonna check out balcony number six. Hey, when it open the door, girls. I think it's a pretty good one. This is number five. It's just the one that we couldn't open. Oh, before. you're right, it is. This is the same one. This is number five. Yeah. Should we go to the third floor now? Yeah. Third floor. There was one room on the first floor, four rooms on the second floor, and now we're heading to the third floor where there is a sixth room, plus there's that small room I keep telling you about. What do we have over here when you first come up? A little area. A counter, is this a refrigerator again too? Yeah. yeah. Oh it is. And then over here is another seating area. And then there's a bedroom just this way, right? Yes. I wish we had this bedroom because look at this. I know, this is so cool. Yeah, this room is perfect for a feeling of little kids because it comes with two little bunk beds so you can close the curtains. And then over here there's actually a big king size bed and a whole big area for um, the family to hang out. And there's actually a bathroom in here too. Come, where's the bathroom? Is it over here? There it is. Now, let's show them the tiny room. The tiny room? This was gonna be my nanny. Yeah, it was gonna be my nanny. It has a tiny TV, tiny bunk bed. No. This was gonna be our room. A TV! Yeah. It's just bunk beds and a TV. And that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I would have liked this room. <laughs> this small room fits. Wait, yeah, it's funny because out of all these big gorgeous rooms, this is the room that the girls wanted first. So they might see her a couple times. Teeny Tiny doesn't actually count as a bedroom because there's not a closet or windows, but it's just an extra space in case you have a lot of people. Now it's time for the movie room! The Come last on. room! Your okay. Room. Whoa, it's dark in here. Yeah, they have tables. They have yeah. their seats go back. And Wow, can we turn the lights on in here? So there are six lounge chairs in here that fully lounge out, and there's this giant projector screen over here. And so this is gonna be a pretty popular place for us to hang out, I think. Now for the crazy part for why we are in this giant house with just a few of us. Originally, Jason and I booked this place like six, nine months ago. We wanted to give a gift to our family for like a beautiful family reunion for all of our family to come out here. My parents were gonna come, Jason's parents were gonna come, my sister Karen and her family, Jason's brother Chris, and it was supposed to be this beautiful, glorious, kind of like family reunion where we get to spend all this wonderful time together. And then came the coronavirus, which is kind of a big deal and it's kind of all over the country right now, and sadly, all of our family who live in California had to end up canceling their plans because it wasn't super safe to fly out here, and they, um, some of them have some health conditions where we just didn't feel like it was worth the risk. So, just our family came because we can drive here, actually. We felt safer driving. So, we're here for a few days by ourselves, and luckily, we'll have some more friends to join us and help fill our house in a couple days. Yes! Are you super excited to be here? Yes! I'm super excited to be here too. We get a whole house to ourselves. <laughs> a pretty big house to ourselves too. What do you wanna do now? Go to the beach. Let's do it. And we're off to the beach! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm going too fast! <laughs> I'm going too fast for you? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Okay. We're out back on yes. Good job driving the golf cart, Jason. No problem. Got no us here safely. Boarding, and um, ever since my parents told me that. 
<laughs> you go, girly. Did you find this in the yep. ocean? Yeah, me and Daddy spun it and Colin we were with. Whoa, yeah. you never find shells that big in the ocean. No. Normally you find like a part of a shell or a teeny tiny one, but a shell this big, that's a good find. We don't want to forget this. No. into mountain people and beach people. I definitely fall in the mountain person category. I definitely prefer it over the beach. Um, I lived in California for years and hardly ever went to the beach and wasn't sad to move away from it. But now that I have kids, I love that they love the beach and I love seeing them have fun at the beach, playing in the water, playing in the sand, and it's like a whole new experience being at the beach compared to how it was years ago for me. Like a good spot to lay down. <laughs> that comfy? I'll just relax here for about an hour or two. 